In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you are well. It is Saturday, the 7th day of September, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2024. Our gospel passage is taken from Luke chapter 6, verses 1 to 5. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While he was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands, and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those with him were hungry? He went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only the priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of our Lord. Today's Gospel, Jesus gives teachings on purpose of the Sabbath and on its proper observance. This was Jesus' response to a criticism and a silly accusation made by some Pharisees against the apostles who, to satisfy their hunger on a Sabbath, had plucked ears of grain from a field for their snack, removed the husks, by rubbing the grain between their palms and blowing away the chaff. The Pharisees accused them of violating Sabbath laws by performing three items of work forbidden on Sabbath, namely harvesting, threshing, and winnowing. Jesus gives three counter-arguments from the Holy Scripture defending the apostles. Number one, basic human needs like hunger take precedence over divine worship and Sabbath observance. Jesus cites from Scripture the example of the hungry David and his selected soldiers. They approached Abimelech, the priest of Nob, who gave them for food the offering bread, which only the priests were allowed to eat. You may want to read First Samuel chapter 21, verses 1 to 6. Number 2. No law can stand against divine worship. That is why the priests were not considered as violating Sabbath laws, although they did the work of preparing two rams for sacrifice in the temple. You may want to read Numbers 28, verses 9 and 10. Number 3. Jesus quotes the, the prophet Hosea to remind the accusers of God's words. I want mercy, not sacrifice. Hosea 6, 6. Further argu argumenting the counter-arguments, Jesus 
as son of man, which is a messianic title, claims lordship over the Sabbath itself. So, like the Jewish Sabbath, the Christian Sunday is to be, number one, a day of rest and refreshment with members of the family. Number two, a day of thanksgiving and the recharging of the spiritual batteries. And number three, a day for parents to teach religious faith and the Bible to their children. Number four, a day to do works of charity in the neighborhood and in the parish. And finally, a day for socializing with family members, neighbors, and fellow parishioners. There are rules, and then there is Jesus. We cannot be prisoners of the rules. It is as simple as that. No wonder when to talk about law, there is the letter and the spirit. Now we know. This is a great Saturday because we come to the end of the 21 days November for the sick. And today we shall have closure mass at 8.15 p.m. And before then we shall have adoration at exactly 3 p.m. East African time. I thank you for this journey. Kindly join me at 8.15 p.m. East African time for the closure mass. Let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for this Saturday. Thank you for seeing us through another working week and bringing us to the weekend. I pray this weekend will be a quiet time with you. Our lives can seem so overwhelming and confusing, but we know that you are there by our side always. We know that you are doing a thousand things in our lives, even if we are only aware of a few of them. Lord, help us recognize your spirit. Bring us deeper into the knowledge of you, so that even in times of adversity, we can rest in the knowledge that you are with us. Holy Spirit, please wash us with your love. We repent of our sins and we pray for help to do better in time. We rejoice that you are forgiving and full of such a grace that ushers us forth into freedom. Our times and our days rest in your hands. And we know that even in anguish, you have a plan for our benefit and the glorification of the kingdom. Help us to trust in you in such times and be filled with overwhelming peace. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. May we increase in you today and come into an abundance of your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, do have a blessed Saturday. <laughs>